Hey guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before and if you haven't been here before please subscribe to be part of the bilingual family which is nice to me attempting to speak English and in today's video we are <laughs> we are going to do just that because it was a struggle bus. In today's video I am going to try some of the new products from Catrice from I think it is their spring and summer collection and <laughs> mind you I am so excited about this collection. Everything that I own from their new collection is currently on my face including this beautiful eyeliner a new foundation tinted serum and their blush we have quite a few new products to go through so i'm gonna stop rambling these are the cream blushes the new uh, foundation so i would say grab some popcorn we're gonna try some very affordable new catrice products and we're gonna create this beautiful look let's go so excited! So first of all, I quickly primed my face with the La Roche Posay Cicatrice Balm B5 Plus and the Essence Hello Good Stuff Milky Face Moisturizer, which is in my project pen. Now that the prep is done, we can continue with the first new Catrice product. I'm actually quite excited about this one. This is a new base product from Catrice and I've been waiting for them to kind of release a similar product like this. So this is the Catrice Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. This is described as covers like a foundation, feels like a serum, so it's supposed to be lightweight, breathable, a long-lasting skin result while being also like flexible on the skin. So I was very interested, like tinted products are all the rage right now and I am just a very much a tinted, a tinted lover. <laughs> so we're gonna try this on and we're gonna see what we think of this product but I have the shade 002N and I did already swatch this on my face and it is a little bit light for my complexion which is surprising but in a very pleasant way so this is quite light for me but that's great if you are even lighter than me and you never like find a shade that is light enough for you in the drugstore I think this will work because this is not even the lightest shade I think the lightest shade is probably like 001 it comes with a dropper situation like this so it's obviously very very light on my complexion I feel like I could probably go up a shade or two because right now I'm looking very ghost like <laughs> it is very lightweight and it's also very very like light to medium coverage as they said I would even describe it more as light coverage my skin is still looking as if it's my skin though so I do think I am liking the finish however I am seeing a little bit of dryness but what I'm also noticing is that it seems to kind of become a little bit more glowy and a little bit more natural looking when it's on my skin a little bit longer so I think this is a foundation that will marinate quite well but it does feel quite breathable on my skin I feel like it's not really suffocating it's not a very thick foundation it's very thin in texture so I think overall my first impressions of this tinted serum from Catrice quite positive I do think it is looking really nice and you can see this kind of like subtle glow on my face so that is definitely a bonus I'm just gonna have to take a look at how this wears and if it actually does marinate with my skin and if it does wear up to my skin so yeah my first initial <laughs> impressions on this foundation or like tinted serum are mainly positive uh, it's just a color that is throwing me off a bit but I do like the finish on my skin and the overall look of the tinted serum then I'm just gonna apply a little concoction of concealers I have my Catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer and I'm gonna spice that up a little bit with the Vive Modern Radiance Concealer. I quickly did the rest of my base makeup with all of the products that are actually currently in my project pen. But what I do have, and I am so excited for this, is cream blushes or like yeah is it cream yeah it's cream blushes from Catrice I have been waiting for this moment for so long and I'm so happy that the moment is finally here when I can actually show these to you I can talk about them I saw that they released like three shades and I actually picked up two I think the third one would be too too pigmented for me so these are the Catrice cheek flirt face sticks and I have the shades 030 rock and rose and the shade 010 R and peach like rock and rose I get but like R and peach am I dumb 
I don't think I'm done, but it feels like it. <laughs> I don't know how to apply these. I have not tried them. So these are the shades. So this one is a rock and rose, which is a little bit more light and a little bit more neutral. And then this one is a rock and peach, which in my opinion is a little bit more corally. So you have these beautiful two blushes. I'm so excited for these like beyond. I think I am going to use the shade that I'm drawn to the most which is a rock and rose because it's like that beautiful peachy pink but not a too peach like very neutral and then I think I'm gonna use this one in a different video. Contrary to what you might think I am not going to draw these on my face. So this one is a rock and rose this one and then this one right here and then this one is uh, R and peach. And I'm just gonna do it like this Oh, uh, I love it. This color is so perfect. I absolutely love the color of this like rock and rose blush. So everything on my face is done. So I'm going to take the bobby pins out of my hair. Needless to say, I am obsessed with these blushes. Obsessed is a big word, but... <laughs> First impressions on these blushes, uh, especially obviously the color Rock and Rose. I am going to try the shade R and Peach a little bit in like a different video maybe. But my first impression on this shade and like this formula very very positive i feel like this is a beautiful color i think it's a beautiful color it's very everyday appropriate it's not a very stiff formula even though i was kind of assuming that that would be the case but it wasn't a, a very stiff formula at all at all it was very creamy easy to blend out as well and just like the overall look of the blush is also like a little bit of luminosity a little bit of wetness to it but honestly i cannot fault these blushes at the moment moment I feel like they mesh in really wet nicely with like the foundation and the other base products that I have on and it provides that extra layer of like luminosity that I was looking for. I'm very excited that they finally dipped into the market of cream blushes because Catrice and Essence uh, specifically are so affordable and I haven't really seen much of a raise of their prices and in this day and age where everything is quite expensive at the moment it's very nice to see that there is still a makeup brand that is quite affordable. And and you know, then you want to dip into those makeup trends with cream blushes or with cream bronzers, cream highlights, and it's very satisfying to see that they dip their toes into the world of cream products. So <laughs> I'm very excited for these and I'm hoping that this will be the beginning of cream products from Catrice and Essence because I need everything when it comes to cream products from them. So that was definitely the product that I was most excited about uh, and I'm very happy that it actually ended up being a very nice formula. But that also means that we have concluded like the base makeup. So this is the, all of the new base products from Catrice. But I also picked up some of their new eye stuff. I have a new mascara from Catrice. This is the Pure False Lash Mascara. If you know anything about me and if you watch my channel, you know that I usually buy like Essence and Catrice blushes not blushes mascaras because they are like my go-to's they're affordable and a lot of their mascaras are really nice and I saw that they had this new one the pure lash false lash mascara and I was like we're gonna try it we're gonna pick it up and it was very inexpensive as well so I'm gonna show this one to you in a little bit but they also have two very exciting new eyeshadow products uh, or like eyeliner and eyeshadow products so they also dipped it, their toes into the world of colorful graphic lines Liner, which is very exciting to see. So this is the Catrice Calligraph Artist Matte Liner and this is in the shade uh, 020 Ocean Flirt. I think like they had a few colors that they came out with but I really wanted a blue one because I really like the look of blue eyeliner. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this later on. And then they also had a few new colors like colorful colors in their Art Couleur eyeshadows. If you watch my single eyeshadow collection you know that I have a shade from them in this formula that I absolutely adore and that I think is fantastic and then I saw it says on uh, <laughs> the packaging as well like it says new they have this new eyeshadow and this is the shade 400 blooming blue I was thinking to myself it's, if it's like the same formula this is gonna be bomb so I'm very excited to use this on my eyes as well what I'm quickly going to do is just apply a little bit of a like transition shade or like a warmer matte color in the eyes okay so we have a little bit of dimension in the eyes the shade that I use is actually in my project pen as well this is the essence eyeshadow in 14 flirting and now I'm actually gonna come a little bit closer so so we can apply this beautiful eyeshadow together. So we're just going to press that onto the lid. Okay. 
okay i think this is really really pretty <laughs> okay so i love this this color is so insanely pretty in dutch we have this saying i don't know if you have this saying in uh, in like english but like in dutch and flemish in flanders you have this saying ik ben van mijn melk and it basically means that you don't know what to say but i, I can't say like i'm from my milk you know that sounds just very odd but i actually don't know what to say so i think the reason why i really like this one is because it has like these really cool sparkles in it like it's not a very flat looking blue color there's like sparkles of like silver in it and like even like lilacs almost it's not a, a glam shop level when it comes to the sparkles but i think it's a very unique shade it's also quite light but now so this is the color ocean flirt as i said before we're gonna quickly try and do something with this this is gonna be difficult to be honest okay here we go <laughs> oh yeah maybe i should swatch this one as well that's very even so my first impression on it is that it's quite pigmented to be like a blue eyeliner but it kind of glides over eyeshadow that's underneath so it's not really sticking that's real pretty right okay i love this so the calligraph artist matte liner in the shade 020 ocean flirt i think it's really pretty i really like it it was very easy to create a winged liner and this one is probably the best one that i've done in a while because I've come to realize that I really suck at eyeliner. I have a feeling though that this is a formula that's gonna dry out so, so quickly, but I'm hoping that that is not the case. But for now, I really like it and it's very fun to see Catrice dive into those more fun colors, you know, to have a little bit more fun, take a shot of something every time I say fun. Okay, so now it's time for the new mascara from Catrice. So this is the Pure False Lash Mascara. And I don't think this is the waterproof version. I tend to not buy the waterproof version because I don't like the very difficult removing process of waterproof mascaras just like a little uh, for the past couple of days and I really like the way that it gave like a little bit of length to my lashes but it couldn't hold the curl so I was a little bit disappointed by that but it separates them quite nicely okay so so far I'm absolutely in love with this look I think it looks absolutely fabulous so now we're gonna quickly round off this look with a little bit of a lip lip action so on Instagram a couple of days ago I put a picture of like a, a lip combo that I was wearing and I actually said that I have like this new lip combo and they make my lips look like huge and very voluptuous and I don't know if I actually like it that's actually this new combo combo from the Catrice collection that I bought so I have the Catrice Intense Matte Lip Pen this one right here which is basically like just a very old school crayon their new scandalous matte lipstick in the shade 20 and this is the color Nude Obsession and this combo is like whoa they match each other so well and the colors are so right for my complexion and then i'm gonna come in closer again so you can see the color and everything this is the intense matte lip pencil in the shade this is the shade cinnamon spice so it's like i i actually bought this because i was thinking of like the practicality of using this practicality i still don't know if that's a word but basically the ease of use of using this product and turns out it is exactly that type of product you just like put it on your lip line you put something on top like a lip balm or like a lip gloss and bam you're ready to go so it's incredibly easy to use and this uh, color this is the color cinnamon spice is also just like perfection for my complexion I love this one so much there we go so that is a lip crayon do you see how that just instantly volumizes my lips I think it's so insane what this actually does for my lip and then we have this new Catrice uh, scandalous matte lipstick and this is the shade uh, 020 nude obsession and this again is like a perfect nude first of all I love the imprint so this is the color of the lipstick and sometimes these shades are like a little bit too orange on my complexion and they make just everything look very strange and this is like a perfect in between so everything is applied I absolutely just adore how this look came out i think every single new product from catrice that i tried is absolutely lovely so i think what i'm gonna have to update you on is probably most of all the tinted serum how it wears how it marinates and everything like that i will definitely do an update in an upcoming video so make sure to be subscribed so you don't actually miss that there was not a single product in here that i was like don't buy this it's not that <laughs> great you know especially the cream blushes i'm so happy that they have cream blushes and i'm gonna 
let's go <laughs> i really like the lip products i really like all of the eye products i really love the the blush and i feel like the foundation now that it's kind of sitting on my skin warming up to my skin really looking fabulous even louis is agreeing that i actually look quite nice there it goes but yeah guys that concludes today's video i want to thank you guys so so much for watching please let me know what you want to see in the future and let me know what you think of these like new catrice products and if you have tried any of them and i will see you in my next one which is probably gonna be next sunday so i'll see you then and uh bye